Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm just doing a quick tutorial in Pygame on how to fade your screen. So if you guys watched uh, one of my previous videos on a game that I made in Pygame, it's called a golf game. Uh, that's just what I called it. It's on my channel. If you want to go check it out, I'll leave a card to it in the top right hand corner here. Uh, there was someone who asked in the comments down below how I faded the screen. Now, I just pretty much the way that I did that was just by using a surface in Pygame and by changing the alpha property of that. So if you don't know what alpha is, it's the same thing as opacity. So whenever you have a surface, you also have an opacity for that surface. So if you see objects that you can see through, like something like glass, um, sunglasses maybe, they have opacity, meaning that you can see through them. If something has 100 opacity, that means you can't see through it and it's opaque. Uh, a little bit of, uh, I guess you might do that in science or something. So I'll show you what it looks like here in case you're still confused, uh, just by running a little program I made. You can see what right here, this is what the surface looks like. And if I just click on the mouse, it starts to fade out. Now, in my opinion, that looks pretty damn cool. Uh, if you're transitioning between like two different scenes, or if you're going from like an, a level to like a score sheet or something, which is what I did in my game. So if you guys want to learn how to do this, it's really simple, uh, and I'm just going to give you the code for it now, and you can pretty much just copy and paste it into your program, but I'll show you if you watch throughout the rest of the video how to implement it properly so you don't run into any issues, so make sure you stay till the end. So we're here, uh, this is my little thing here. Now all that we really have to worry about in this program is this right here. Now this is my function that pretty much uh, creates the fading effect. Now the way that it fades is simply by creating a new Pi game surface that's going to be the same uh, width and height of your screen. So you can see here I take two, uh, two arguments, width and height. Now this, if you wanted to fade only a section of your screen, is why I have this. Um, so you could change how large the section of fade is. See if I, I'll just show you quickly what I mean by that, is if I change this to like 500. Uh, and I run it, you can see only half the screen is fading. And that's pretty much all that means for the width and height. So I'll change it back now. Um, and in here, we create a new surface and then we fill the surface with black. Now, if you wanted to fade to white, you could just change this color. If you wanted to fade to green, you could change this color, um, whatever you like in there. And then I just do a really simple for loop and it's just for alpha in range zero and 300. Now the alpha goes from uh, zero to 300, I believe in Pi game. It might go a little higher than that, but this is what I use. Uh, and pretty much all this does is it iterates 300 times through alpha property. So first we're drawing uh, a window that has an opacity or alpha setting of one, and then it has two and then it has three, four. So it keeps getting darker as we move through the for loop. Now what I do is you just do fade dot set alpha. That's how you change the alpha property of uh, of a surface you could do that with your window as well and then we just redraw everything that we're drawing so you should if you have a game uh have a function that redraws everything uh just in that one function so you're not drawing things from different areas now if you don't have this it's going to be kind of hard to implement but just pretty much everything that you're drawing is in a function right that's what i have at least here i fill the screen i draw my two rectangles inside this function now it's important that inside the function you don't uh update the screen if you update the screen inside of the function, then you're going to run into a slight issue. So, um, which I can show you in a second. Now, after we redraw everything that's going to be behind the fade, uh, we now draw the fade to the screen. So on our main window, which I just create up here, and then we do pygame.display.update, uh, just updating the screen and we wait five milliseconds so that it doesn't move too fast. If you want it to go slower or faster, you just change this number up or down, um, accordingly. Now, it's important that you call your screen win, or if you don't want to call it win, then you have to change this. Uh, you can see that this corresponds to my main window. Uh, redraw window is the name of the function that I use to redraw everything behind the fade. And then uh, fade is just something that I came up with, just a name for the uh, for the surface. And that's about it. So I'll show you the issue you run into if you update something in your in your window here or in your redraw uh, function. If you do pygame.display.update, you're going to see it looks like it's flickering here when I run this thing. You can see it starts to flicker and it's just, that's obviously not what you want. <laughs> kind of hurts your eyes. So just make sure you don't do that in there. And I'm going to put this code in the description down below. Uh, feel free to copy and paste that into your programs. And if you guys have any issues, don't uh, be afraid to leave me a comment down below. I am usually 
uh, responding to those comments and helping you guys out. So if you like this video and it helped you out, please make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And I'll uh, see you guys in another video.